Hello, hello! Today we will be taking a look at my Eastern Lightning Demon build, or Land of Reeds Lightning Demon build, whatever you want to refer to it as. Uh, it's my attempt at a dex build. I'll be honest, I'll be upfront, I'll be truthful to you, dear viewer. I don't like dex builds a whole lot. I just, the weapons don't interest me as much as, say, strength builds. And this one's particularly sweaty because I was learning how to use dex weapons. So the stats are pretty simple. Some faith, a good amount of dex, some endurance, and a good chunk of vigor. On screen will be the details of that, including the equipment. And I'll be showing off a good handful of the weapons here in case you want to use any of them or use the Ashes of War. Whatever will help you get inspiration, hopefully for your own builds. Um, this build was a learning experience for me because I just... I dex builds don't and i we don't we don't run in the same circles like we we've seen each other at school but we're not friends right we're not enemies we're just not friends uh he, i invited him to my birthday party he never invited me to his it was kind of like that um i would like to get to know dex better but uh dex is just intent on just being an aloof acquaintance to me uh I, the inventory I lifted almost wholesale from uh, a YouTuber called, named Steelovsky because I didn't know what to do with this strength build. I've done so many, uh, sorry, I didn't know what to do with the dex build. I know what to do with this strength build. I've played many different flavors of strength build. I've played wizards, I've played uh, priests, clerics, paladins, whatever you want to call them. The good old lightning bolt though took out the poor 800 HP host in the back there. I think that's how much health he had. <laughs> it's just such a sad invasion. That was probably funny to watch, but uh, not that satisfying on my end. But uh, trying to use the twin katanas, because they're okay, they're alright. Uh, especially Unsheath. Unsheath is pretty good against people of latency. Mostly, especially if they do jump attacks and stuff like that. For something about the length of the Nag Nagakiba weapon, plus Unsheath, just it, it hits people on high latency fairly well. And of course, the little smidge of bleed it comes with for free as a bonus is always helpful. I felt bad this invasion. I was shooting a bow just to soften him up a little bit, and the phantom just fell off the cliff. That's not fun. Sure, I'm supposed to be uh, portraying a modified samurai, you know, uh, a real sweaty samurai. <laughs> wearing really heavy armor and using, you know, a bow, a, a huge bow, and big old long katanas, but... This poor guy, he just, he can't really do much, to be fair. He can't really approach, his spell takes too long to fire. It's understandable why he's just buying this time. So I decided to come down here and give him a good old fight. He's just dropping Lion's Claw from a mile away. I mean, I love the ability, too. Uh, good on you for making it work. But, uh, lightning build, lightning dexterity hits way too hard. I should probably talk about the lightning aspect of it, <clears throat> since I've put it in the name, more or less. Lightning's a really mean element. You get lightning if you have good dex in the infusion uh, for your weapon. Or the affinity, I forget what they call it in this game. It's probably affinity now. It used to be infusion. And uh, if you want lightning spells, you need faith. So, you're kind of split there on stats. You can't really get both and pool into one stat like you could in the previous Souls games. Though, to be fair, lightning's always been just okay in the previous games. Lightning's a lot better in this game, both in the spell variant as well as the weapons. But what makes lightning so good on a numerical level is that when you level up your character, you get flat defenses. You get flat defenses in everything. Uh, except lightning, or you get very little lightning. It could be one or the other. Either way, people naturally have really low lightning resistance. If you ever roll or walk in water, you there's two stages of being wet, the rolling being the more severe of the two stages where you're just weaker to lightning in general. Bubble Tear saved my life right there. I should have died from that <laughs> in the video feed. And so as a result, lightning's just really good against most everyone, just for free. Because they only get lightning resistance if they cast a spell on themselves, or wearing a talisman, or their armor is particularly lightning resistant. But because they don't get the flat resistances to lightning, it just... It's never as high as their other stats, so it's a very good damage type for that reason. Makes me wonder why they decided to do that. I couldn't tell you why, but it makes it so dexterity builds have a little trick up their sleeve. 
which is kind of funny because uh, strength builds are supposed to get fire damage. It's one of their possible infusions. And anytime you roll in water or walk in water, the opposite happens. Or if it's raining, you get bonus fire resistance. And of course, you know, pyromancy as they're in spellcasting, that takes faith. But infusing your weapons with fire, that could be faith or strength. There's both options available. So you could run pure faith and have fire weapons as well as fire spells and do just fine. Dexterity has its weird divided niche there. I wish fire was a better infusion. Um, maybe I need to play with it more. Maybe I need to run a buff build and do fire weapons. Run a uh, flame grant me strength or whatever it's called. But uh... I've never been a fan of stacking infinity buffs before a fight. It just... It's so lame and monotonous. I'm a fan of one or two tops. Like, chugging the flask, that's fine, that's quick. And then maybe one cast of a spell, you know? Or maybe you take a chomp of your boiled crab for some physical resistance, you know? Just multi-buff stacking is just... Ugh gross. This was a good fight. I included it because it was fun to watch. It was a learning experience for me. This guy, uh, I think he was trying to get invaded by a streamer who was uh, well streaming on the day I was recording this. I think I recognize these two particular players from the uh, stream. And I don't watch streams very often, so it was kind of a funny like chance moment. But this guy is a far more consistent player than I am. I'm a very inconsistent player. Sometimes I have moments where I'm in the zone and I'm on fire and I'm doing well and I'm making parries and getting backstabs. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I shouldn't have caught next to the mic. And then there's days where I just uh, I flub everything over and over repeatedly. And so I would say I'm not a very consistent player, but I had him on the ropes a little bit. I almost had him. It was really close. And then he takes a chug of his flask and it looks like he has healing in it. It looks like he heals half of his HP and then the other half is... I think healing over time, which I should try that out. That sounds like a pretty good flask. I don't know how good the heal over time is. I should take a look at it and see how it compares to the talismans and spells and the shield and the other things you can use to get life over time. Maybe I've been sleeping on it, but uh, it's a good amount of health. It's enough. Maybe he also switched his talismans while running around. Who knows? But yeah, he's able to get a good amount of his health back because of that flask. I'm just trying to find an in, and I am so horrible with the katanas. I even try a crouch attack, I'm trying everything, but spinning slash is just really good, and he gets me. I don't know what his build is. Maybe it's a dex build, but uh, it's just he's dressed like a paladin, so it's weird to me that he might be running a dex uh, a dex build overall. Maybe he was like me. Maybe he was running dex with a smidge of faith, and he was just dressing that armor because he liked the way it looked. I've always associated dex builds with lithe characters. You know, dressing in lighter armor, leather, smaller, faster weapons, that usual thing. But in this game, you can really throw people off. You could have a dex-infused giant crusher and be an absolute madman. This was a particularly fun invasion. It was a 3v1 where I had a good grasp on the environment, and it saved my skin multiple times. And it's not like I kited them through the environment and let the uh, monsters take care of them. It was a fairly honest fight, making really good use of spinning slash, probably because I died to it in the last uh, invasion. But the blue shows up. He's willing to do his part to help out. There are uh, members of the PvP com community who outright hate blues. They consider blues to be uh, paramount to, or uh, sorry, not paramount, that's the wrong word, to be basically the equivalent of corrupt police officers, right? That you, you're fighting a host, he kills two phantoms, and then he gets blues to show up after the fact, and there's just this evil, awful stigma about him. I don't, I don't hate blues. They're here to have fun. They want to do the PvP, but they want to be on the winning team. And I can't really fault them. It's fun to win, you know. And so he's here just trying to help out the host. He's being a pretty good blue. He's sticking near the host. He wants to help him out. He wants to kill me dead. He's not like a blue who's AFK. 
I wish it was uh, a little easier to be a blue. You, when you uh, queue up to be a blue, you feel like you only get summoned once in a blue moon. Haha. Word choice. And there goes the Nagakiba, having really long blades, and as a consequence, just nicking that guy with the little side swing there when he had low health. The long katanas are good because they're longer. It's just kind of how this game works. Uh, again, me showing off a blue moment. I was talking about blues, now I am the blue. I, I'm going to try to show off one blue invasion per video if it just happens. Um, just to kind of show what it's like to be on the other side as a supporting character. I've now switched away from the katanas because they were angering me. <laughs> I do not like the katanas. They're good. They're kind of stylish. I'm... I love, uh... Medieval European weapons. <laughs> like, I love arming swords, straight swords, long swords. Like, I love all the, the halberds and the, uh, like the Corvins and the Lucerne or whatever the other name is for it. All their different weapons. Not, not the biggest fan of, uh, Eastern medieval or feudal weaponry. So the katana is just not my wheelhouse, even in video games. And uh, it's a magnet for dex builds because it already has really good scaling. So, but here I'm using the good old straight swords and now the poison blade. This phantom, this uh, invading phantom, he's a slippery one. He gets away a lot. He's very good at getting away. But he's using the standard kit, you know, two lances, scale chest piece, bull goat pants. Uh, circlet headpiece or whatever commoner headband I forget what it's called and I feel like every want to be sweaty invader wears that exact outfit and I get it if you want to use the best weapons and you want to have your best chance of beating people at least mix up your outfit at least look a little different like me I look also very generic <laughs> oh man the the kettle calling the pot black or the pot calling the kettle black where i look very generic as where with the commander chess piece and the okina mask that gives dexterity and the prelate legs for the big big defenses but uh i don't know i'm just i like this scale chess piece i liked it before it was cool not really, uh, just, but everyone uses it because it's a fairly heavy chest piece, but it's fairly slim and it's, it's good. Armor's really important, poise is very helpful, so I get why they, they do it, I just would love a little more variety. Maybe, maybe wear the cape on the scale chest piece, maybe then I'll treat you different. You'll look less like the stereotypical, like everyone else invader. <laughs> These guys are just having an absolute heyday with me. They're chipping my health health left, right, and center. I'm trying not to run the whole time, and I'm trying to return hits intermittently. And I have Katana on the brain, and my straight sword game is just miserable. But look at that damage. A single double hit was 691 damage. It just melted it. These little taser swords. That seems a little high <laughs> to me. <laughs> but that's just how lightning builds are. They hurt everyone. And they hurt everyone a lot. <laughs> I'm getting all the little hands on them because I'm just trying to find an end for my four straight swords. That's one thing I will try to work on in the future, hopefully to make these invasions more interesting, is swapping weapons. Um, sometimes people get used to your attack patterns, your mannerisms, and you don't have enough brain capacity like me to change how to attack with the same weapon enough to get the hits the mix-ups i think it's called it's probably called and so switching a weapon can help a lot like had i switched to a halberd or maybe a heavy thrusting sword or something else maybe even a, a light curved sword i don't know even a fist weapon just change it up you can usually get in a couple extra hits because you've mixed up the timing and you can always switch back that's the one thing that's important. You could always switch to something for an Ash of War and then switch back. And that's one thing I want to get better at, is I want to get better at swapping during the fights to make sure that I'm... Just, they don't know what's coming. They don't know what to expect. But still, every time I do a double attack on that poor host and he loses half of his health bar, that must mean he has, like, 12 to 1400 HP. And you get, like, 1900 HP from 60 Vigor. And so, just melted him so much. 
I slapped the poor host, and then he just gets slammed by the hand. Oof. Rough. I'm out of water. I'm gonna have to go get more water after this. What I get for recording three of these uh, voiceovers in one day. I hope to space these out. Still trying to figure out uh, when and how to record and to make it good. So there's, there's not too much background noise or what have you. It's all a learning experience. I'm here for the good times. I just felt so bad for this phantom and his host. The uh, If you missed it, the phantom used Vikes... Vikes... What is it? Vikes Dragon Bolt body buff or whatever. And... Part of what it does is it lowers your lightning resistance by a good amount, and I'm doing lightning damage, which people already don't have much in terms of lightning defense. And it just melted the guy. I did like 1800 or something damage across six hits. Just what a way to go. Just an unsightly amount of damage. So don't be me <clears throat> in this situation. Backstabs are cool and nice for finishers. If I was really smart, I probably would have gotten four hits off of with two L1s. And that would have worked way better for damage output. That's okay. We're here for fun. Me and my silly, sweaty build. I promise more of the builds will be a little more inspired than this one. The next one, especially. I'm excited. That one's going to be a level 60, uh, very flavorful build. And uh, it's going to contrast my recent, or recent to me, dear viewer, who knows when you're watching this. Uh episode where I did PvP during the lore through, or as a part of it, to kind of progress in Vare's quest line. And that was a level 60 build with plus 8 weapons that was not optimized at all. My stats were all over the place for the point of showcasing as much as I could at that point in the game, within reason. And, uh, not optimized at all. And all optimization really needs to be is just don't have your stats evenly spread everywhere, that's it. Pick a damage stat, maybe two, hopefully they're working together in some capacity. Level Vigor to 60, wear some armor, and make sure your weapons are about equal on their upgrades. You don't need to shoot one past the others if you're leveling or going through the game. You can keep them all about equal, even if they're a little lower as a result, and you'll do well. You'll have options, you'll do good damage on most everything, within reason. Don't put your points everywhere. I had a friend who, when he very first played this game, he got like, what was it? He put 40, I think it was. 40 was the magic number in every stat. And I'm pretty certain that places you just a tad above meta level. I, I should pull up a calculator. I really don't know. Hey, hey. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I'm tempted to pull that up. Why not? I will pull it up for you, dear viewer. I want to know. This was also a good little fight. I thought I was going to lose this one, honestly. And I probably should have. This guy was also, I consider, a more consistent player. I can always feel it <laughs> when somebody's a more consistent player than I am. On the few times that I've fought, like, streamers or YouTubers, big-name people in the community, I can always tell they're far more consistent than I am. And I have just my moments of genius and my moments of just stupidity where I am a rube. Easily duped. Okay. So I have pulled up the silly calculator. And some people will look down at me for pulling out the calculator, but I just want to know what it's like when you have 40 points in every stat. Which is a remarkably bland build that doesn't have that much health, because you get most of your health. Well, you get a lot of your health after 27 vigor. But really, you need all you can get until you hit 60. Okay, so if you have 40 in every stat, you are level 241, your health is low, and you're not doing much damage. Not really. So, he was, he was, he was I remember he was bragging to me. The game was new-ish. It was like a, not even a month old or something. He's talking about how the game was just bad. I just, it doesn't feel as good as the older Souls games. I got 40 in every stat, because 40 is always there for many of the games 40 is a good number to hit for your stats because a lot of the games you hit 40 and you don't get much gains after 40 why would you break 40 and this game kind of expanded the window of stats a good amount where you can get good scaling on some stuff especially casting implements all the way up to 80 and sure you can go up to 99 
But there was almost never a reason to go past 40 for a lot of builds in the older games for damage stats. There is occasion, you know, but for the most part you get to hit 40 and be very happy. Especially quality builds would be like 40 strength, 40 dex, and then you get to do really good damage on a lot of weapons. And you weren't severely overleveled or anything, it was a good breakpoint or whatever the term was. I don't know what this guy was doing, he's just standing here in the open field and he's, uh, Taunter's Tongue. I don't know if he was doing like a Taunter's Tongue playthrough and just waiting for me to show up because he saw my name or what. But the poor guy, it's raining because it's Lyurnia and I'm doing lightning and he's wearing really light armor. And he might have a little bit of elemental resistance, I don't know if that cloak kind of counts as mage gear, and mage gear generally has better elemental resistances, but he just died so very fast in so few hits, you barely make a scratch on me. This was a fun little moment. I had uh, lost to these guys earlier in another invasion, and I didn't record it, I messed up. I like to hit the record button right before the invasion starts so I have a smaller amount of footage just because I'm moderately conscientious of how much space on my hard drives the footage takes up. And so I was reinvading these guys, that's why I'm being so cautious and looking for them, because they're both very consistent, very good players, far better than I am. And I know it, I'm a scaredy cat. I'm reasonably afraid, they got the best gear, they're very meta, and me, I'm on a dex build that I'm just, I don't like dex builds. Except for Bolt of Grand Sex, I like Bolt of Grand Sex. It's cool, I like having the option to throw a big lightning bolt without being an outright caster. But I piss them off, they see me, I'm trying, I'm, I'm theorycrafting in my head what I'm going to do, and then the bull goat comes after me with that big ol' halberd. Nothing scarier. Especially when you're running twin swords, a bull goat can be kind of scary, because the double hit doesn't make him flinch at all. Probably takes four hits to make him stumble a little bit, but there's two of them, and they've both got chunky boy arm armor. They look like they've been drinking liquid ice cream for weeks now, just to build bulk for the sumo competition and I'm able to get behind him and deal a good chunk of free damage there to help out my teammate because uh, the axe is still pretty good even on a dex build even though it's primarily strength weapon and honestly it was the fellow invader who did the work there it was just a fun little moment where I got to see them again and we won the invaders I didn't deserve it and this was somebody else this was a very funny moment to me because I would love to know what's going through the head of the host of this world right because he's over here I see him running I swear I see him run off to the side and I swear he went deeper into the room to get the grace right and I run all the way in there to get after him after buffing because it's a tight space who knows what's in there and I must miss him he must have gone up against the wall and I just ran past him because I come back out and there he is he duped me, like a Scooby-Doo chase scene. But he's in there, and I wonder if he assumes that there's a gold wall keeping me out. Because I step in here, and he immediately <laughs> he takes a roll, and I don't know if he's expecting me to be in there. I didn't know you could get into the Redon Festival kind of staging area, and there he disconnects. The Alt F4 true combo. Unbeatable. This was a fun little moment, last invasion of the day. But uh, a fellow twin sword or twin straight sword user, and he's using the tasty broadsword. A little shorter, but big damage. Actually, maybe he's got a long sword and a broadsword. I'm not sure. Either way, it looks like he's running a physical build, and I'm running a lightning build, and we're rolling in the water, and my damage output's just crazy, even though he's got fairly heavy armor. Just the damage output's insane. But he put up a good fight. It was fun. So this is the uh, lightning demon of the eastern reedlands or whatever you want to call it. There's my physic. They give you health back and they give you lightning damage. Show off the stats one more time. Pretty modest. Uh, three of the points of dex are coming from the hat in case you're curious. Another five points are coming from the... Uh, talisman the millicent prosthesis but i thank you for joining me today it was good fun having you i can't wait to do more of these in the future it's a growing experience but enjoy the rest of your day and treat yourself Bye bye